There are hundreds of different types of spiders on Earth. Most are fairly harmless. Others, however, can kill a full-grown human. It's good to know which is which. So today, let's take a look at the top 15 most deadly spiders that can kill you. Number 15. Mouse Spider There are actually 18 different species of mouse spider, all of which are in the genus Misulina. One of them is native to Chile, while the rest are found across Australia. And they get their name because they were originally believed to dig winding burrows in a similar way to mice. Although this is now known not to be true, they actually live in underground cavities that are up to a foot deep. They usually grow to one or two inches long and can develop vivid colors across their carapace, which makes it seem shiny. If you see one out in the open, it's more than likely a male because the females spend most of their lives within the burrows in wait for their partner to bring back small insects for them to feed on. Both sexes produce a nasty toxin, though, so if you do come across one, you should definitely stay well clear. Luckily, mouse spiders tend to be non-aggressive, and even if they do bite, they normally won't inject any venom, instead choosing to keep it for use against prey. But if you do fall victim to a wet bite, the consequences can be fatal. Their venom contains a type of robust toxin that's similar to that found in other Australian spider species, and if left untreated can lead to cardiovascular issues, the accumulation of fluid in the lungs, and in some cases, heart failure. Number 14. Black Widow Spider Black widows are one of the most notorious species of spider in the world, both because of the way that the females devour the males after mating and because of their potent venom. Easily identifiable because of their jet black bodies with a red hourglass marking on their abdomen, black widows are surprisingly small, growing to a maximum of half an inch long. They weave webs in dark, quiet corners and sit in the center waiting for prey to get caught. They have terrible eyesight and feel for vibrations, and once they know something's made contact with their web, they pounce into action. They deliver one bite of venom, then begin to wrap the prey in a silk cocoon before covering it in digestive juices that turn the body into liquid so the spider can suck up all the nutrients. Their venom is developed to be extremely powerful to make this as quick a process as possible, and this means that if a person's unfortunate enough to get bitten, it can end in disaster. The venom contains a neurotoxin called latrotoxin, which can cause severe pain at the wound, cramps, muscle spasms, and an irregular heartbeat. At least 2,000 black widow bites are recorded each year in the U.S. alone, and fatalities are extremely rare, mainly because they are timid species that usually don't inject venom into humans when they bite. Even if they do, it's usually such a small quantity that the effects only last for a few days, but this doesn't mean you should be overly confident if you see one. Each individual carries more than enough venom to kill a person, and will deliver a fatal bite if they feel so threatened that they're forced to do so. Number 13. Trapdoor Spider While most species of spiders weave webs to catch their prey, trapdoor spiders do things differently. Instead, these nocturnal creatures that typically grow to around an inch or two long dig holes in the ground and use their silk to cover the entrance with a hinged cork-like door that's almost impossible to see from the outside until it opens. Outside of the door, they lay a set of trip lines that are made from fine webbing and then lay inside in wait of small insects to pass by. When they sense movement, they pounce from their burrow, catch their prey, and drag it back inside where they wrap it up in a cocoon for them to begin devouring. But along with this ingenious method of capturing food, they also have a potent venom that's dangerous even to humans. Luckily, they're considered to be a non-aggressive species towards larger animals, but if they feel cornered, they're likely to strike and this can lead to extreme pain at the wound. And if enough venom is injected, it can lead to anaphylactic shock in some individuals that can, in some instances, prove to be fatal. Number 12, Six-Eyed Sand Spider. There are eight different known species that are referred to as six-eyed sand spiders, all of which can be found in Africa, in particular, South Africa and Namibia. Their bodies tend to grow to around 0.6 inches long with a leg span of up to two inches and their bodies are covered in fine hairs that encourage the buildup of sand, which allows them to effectively camouflage in with their environment. It's from this buried position that they wait for potential prey to pass before they strike, so unusually they don't spin any webs at all. They'll grab on with their front legs and deliver a venomous bite, and then it's simply a case of waiting for their victim to lose energy and slowly die, which gives the spider the chance to move in and eat. Because of this method of hunting, six-eyed sand spiders have developed some of the most toxic venom in the world. There are very few known instances of this being used on people because they are very shy and live in areas with low human populations. The venom has, however, been shown to have potent hemolytic and necrotic effects, 
and in the two suspected cases where someone has been bitten by a six-eyed sand spider, the first victim lost their arm to necrosis, and the second died of a body-wide hemorrhaging in a similar way to victims of rattlesnake bites. Number 11. Yellow Sack Spider Yellow sack spiders are a species that typically grow to be around a third of an inch long and are found throughout Europe, the Americas, Asia, and Africa. There are 212 different variants, each of which have slightly different behavioral traits and physical features. They're unusually shaped leg joints and their bulbous abdomen that's yellow or beige. They're quite a common house spider and are seen as beneficial predators in most places where they hunt most species of insects. But if they turn their attentions on people, things can become dangerous. Usually, if they feel threatened enough to bite a person, they'll either dry bite or will only inject a small amount of venom. This will lead to extreme pain and swelling around the site of the bite for several days, but most people will make a full recovery. On some occasions, however, an individual spider may inject more venom than usual, or someone will become a victim to bites from several spiders, and this is when things can get complicated. In large enough doses, the venom is necrotic, so it will cause flesh to die, and can cause more serious cardiovascular problems that can be deadly. Some species are also strangely attracted to the smell of petroleum fumes, and this has encouraged them to weave their webs in some models of cars, something that's known to significantly increase the risk of fire, and even led to one car manufacturer having to recall vehicles in 2012 to install software that can warn the owner if a spider is weaving a web inside. Number 10. Brown Recluse Spider Brown Recluse Spiders are one of the three spider species in North America that possess venom that's classified as being medically significant towards human. Growing to just under an inch long, they can be identified by the dull brown coloration and a violin-like pattern that points towards the rear of their abdomen. But if you ever see one, the best advice is to keep your distance. They build irregularly shaped webs in shaded places like sheds, garages, closets, and cellars, and seem to prefer constructing them against cardboard when in houses possibly because of its similarity to tree bark. During the day, they'll stay with their web and immediately pounce on anything that gets caught. But if they haven't eaten enough by nighttime, they'll leave the web to actively search for prey. It's when they're doing this that they become more often to come into contact with humans. And if they do decide to bite, they inject a venom that's highly hemotoxic, which means it targets the blood and causes the cells to break down. Most bites don't result in any problems apart from mild discomfort. But for children or those with weak immune systems, things can start getting bad fast. As the venom spreads through the body, it can cause nausea and vomiting. And because of the way it attacks the blood, it can cause organ failure and death simply because oxygen is prevented from reaching vital parts of the body. Number 9. Katipo Spider The Katipo Spider is closely related to the Black Widow from North America, but this species is only found in New Zealand. In recent years, their population numbers have dropped drastically, and they're now considered to be at risk of extinction. But for many people living in the region, this isn't too much of a concern because of their deadly venom. Growing to have a leg span of up to 1.3 inches across, Katipos have entirely black bodies apart from a red diamond-shaped strip on their abdomen that's usually bordered with a white line. The spiders usually live in sand dunes near the seashore, and it's there where they weave their irregularly shaped webs in order to capture small insects. Due to their relative rarity and the fact that an anti-venom has been available for a long time, it's been several decades since the last reported death as a result of a Katipo bite. Still, this doesn't mean you can be too complacent with them, because they can still have the ability to cause serious damage, as their venom can trigger latrodectism, which includes symptoms such as pain, convulsions, paralysis, seizures, comas, and if left untreated, death. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Northern Funnel Web Spider The Northern Tree-Dwelling Funnel Web Spider is a species that can be found in Eastern Australia and are one of only two types of funnel webs that are known to live in trees, with some individuals having been found as high as 100 feet in the forest canopy. Their bodies alone grow to around 2 inches long, with their legs adding substantially more bulk to their overall appearance, and they're known for either their black or dark brown coloration. They set up their webs in the trees to capture prey, but will also hunt along the floor at certain times of day. They can be quite aggressive, and instead of running, they'll try to stand their ground, often standing on their back legs and exposing their fangs towards any perceived threats. When they do this, small drops of venom can be seen forming on their fangs, and this is a sign that the spider's preparing to bite. If they do decide to attack, they're likely to deliver a significant amount of venom, 
and more than 60% of bites on humans are said to result in serious symptoms. These can include extreme perspiration, high blood pressure, an irregular heartbeat, extreme pain, and the accumulation of fluid in and around the lungs, which in extreme situations, this can lead to death. The fact that the northern faunal web injects so much venom with each bite, and the venom is extremely potent, means that this species is often regarded as one of the most venomous in the world. It's just fortunate that attacks on humans are relatively rare. Number 7. Brown Widow Spider Closely related to the Black Widow, Brown Widow Spiders are a slightly smaller species that has an equally as potent venom. Often found built up in areas of Africa, America, Australia, Europe, and the Middle East, they can be a combination of brown, gray, and black, and have either an orange or a yellow hourglass pattern on the abdomen. When looking for the spiders, the best method is by finding their egg sacs, which look like a sand spur, and have pointed structures all over. Frighteningly, each one of these sacs can contain as many as 200 eggs, each of which will hatch and spawn spiderlings within 20 days of being laid. Brown widows have a venom that's just as toxic as the one found in black widows, and it has a neurotoxic effect that targets the nerve endings throughout the body. In high doses, it can cause latrodectism and leads to symptoms such as extreme sweating, convulsions, and paralysis. But because they're smaller, they usually inject a smaller dose with each bite than the black widow does. It's for this reason that brown widows are seen as being less deadly, but there's still a threat of death with each bite if it's not treated within time. Number 6. Chilean Recluse Spider The Chilean Recluse Spider is one of the most dangerous of all recluse spiders, and also one of the largest, growing a leg span of up to 1.5 inches across. Originating in regions across South America, but are now known to have spread out to areas of the US and Australia, they are usually light brown in color and have a violin-shaped pattern on their backs. The species prefers dry environments, and they can go for a surprisingly long time without any food or water, which is one of the reasons why they've managed to spread so far around the globe. They build irregularly shaped webs in secluded places like sheds, closets, and garages, where they spend most of their days, but they'll leave the safety of the web at night to hunt. They have a habit of climbing through clothes and other objects during this time, and this is when they're most likely to come into contact with humans. Chilean recluse spiders, as the name would suggest, do everything they can to avoid confrontation, but if they're startled, cornered, or pushed up against skin when they're caught up in clothes, they may feel that their only option is to bite. Due to the presence of a high concentration of sphingomyelinase D in the venom, they are seen as one of the most potentially dangerous species in the world. With this said, the range of symptoms varies substantially and is affected by the health of the victim and the amount of venom that's injected in the bite. It can cause a mild irritation or rash, skin necrosis, ulcers, gangrene, and major issues with the cardiovascular system, and studies suggest that this can lead to kidney failure and death in 3-4% of the cases. To add further danger, this can be up to 7 hours before you realize you've been bitten by one, so by the time you're able to seek medical assistance, it may already be too late. Number 5. Wolf Spider There are almost 3,000 known species of wolf spider that are found across the planet, from the Kauai Cave Spider in Hawaii to the Tigrosa that's native to North America. While each has their own distinct features, there are certain traits that are common to all of them, including the presence of two large central eyes on their head and the fact that they're generally solitary animals that hunt on their own. Some wolf spiders hunt down and chase their prey, with others preferring to stay in one spot in wait for an opportunity to present itself, but none of them spin webs. They can grow to anywhere between half an inch to one and a half inches across and have extremely good eyesight. Because they don't construct a home web, they carry their egg sacs around with them, and once these hatch, the spiderlings will live on their mother's back for the first stages of their lives until they grow large enough to fend for themselves. They'll usually avoid human interactions at all costs, but if they're continually provoked or feel they have no choice, they'll inflict a nasty bite. The potency of their venom is drastically different between all of the species, but those found in South America are particularly known for the necrotic effects that they trigger, and if enough venom is injected in the first place, this will lead to death. Number 4. Red Widow Spider Found in regions across Florida, particularly on sand dunes where the Penis Clossa pine trees grow, Red Widow Spiders are closely related to Black Widows, but with some obvious physical differences. Instead of being black all over, they have red or orange legs and a black abdomen that's covered with red spots that are outlined with yellow rings. They don't have the distinct hourglass pattern that's seen on other widow species, and you're far more likely to see a female than a male because they're more than twice the size. 
Red widow spiders are an endangered species because of the limited habitats where they live, and because of this there aren't many accounts of them biting humans. They do, however, produce venom just like their close relations, and it's been proven to be just as potentially dangerous. They're surprisingly small, at less than three quarters of an inch across, and this means they don't have as much venom at any one time as other spiders, so the chances of them inflicting a fatal dose in one bite is extremely unlikely. Still, a bite from one of them will almost certainly inflict extreme pain and swelling, and if you're in a vulnerable category, can cause organ failure and potentially death. Number 3. Sydney Funnelweb Spider There are a number of different funnelweb species in Australia, but one of the most notorious and dangerous is the Sydney Funnelweb. Found in the region around the city of Sydney, they grow bodies that are up to 2 inches long and have a dark coloration that's between dark blue to black or brown. They lay in wait in burrows with a complex network of webs in the surrounding area that lets them know by vibrations whenever something is passing by. When the chance presents itself, they leap out, grab their prey, which includes insects and frogs, by their front legs and bite down with their fangs to inject venom, before waiting for their target to weaken enough that it can be consumed. If they feel threatened or angered, they rear up on their back legs and display their fangs, and if they need to, they'll hold on tight with their front legs and deliver repeated bites. The compounds within their venom mean that it's particularly effective against humans and other primates and targets the central nervous system. Sometimes, after biting, the spider may remain attached to you because its fangs have dug in so deep and symptoms will begin to develop within an hour. They include muscle twitching, difficulty breathing, and confusion, and particularly if they've bitten several times, can lead to death if medical attention isn't given soon enough. Number 2. The Redback Spider Redback spiders are found across Australia, Southeast Asia, and New Zealand, and are related to black widows. They grow to around half an inch long and are well known for the danger they pose to people. They weave webs in warm, sheltered places and often find that human structures are perfect for this. Once an insect, spider, or other small creature becomes trapped in the web, a redback will inject venom into it, wrap it in silk, and wait for its internal organs to liquefy so the nutritious fluid can be sucked out. They're responsible for a large proportion of medically significant spider bites in Australia, with symptoms initially presenting as pain around the bite site, before nausea, vomiting, and headaches develop, and subsequently seizures, a coma, and even death. As they're so small, the bite marks are almost impossible to see, so it's usually the symptoms of the bite that are the only way you can tell if you've been bitten by a redback. An anti-venom is thankfully available, but this must be administered within several hours of envenomation to be effective. Number 1. Brazilian Wandering Spider Brazilian wandering spiders, which are also known as banana spiders, are a group of arachnids that are native to South America. Their bodies can grow up to 2 inches long, with a leg span of up to 7 inches, and are one of the largest spider species you'll see. They're also one of the most dangerous, partly because they don't build burrows or webs, but instead wander the forest floor in search of food each night. When they feel under threat, they'll adopt a defensive posture whereby they raise their front legs to reveal their underside and will sway from side to side. So aren't as effective against larger targets like people, but this won't stop them if they feel like they have no choice. They're able to deliver a dry bite to conserve their venom if they think it'll be enough to get the threat to back off, but if they need to, they'll inject a full dose of venom just to make sure. Against humans, they have the most potent venom of any spider species, although only 1 in 50 attacks are believed to require significant medical treatment such as the use of antivenom. If this isn't provided in time, breathing difficulties, irregular heartbeats, and organ failure can develop, and this leads to death in some instances. Each spider holds enough venom to kill several people at a time, and there have been accounts of individuals killing at least two people within the space of several minutes. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.